Obviously today we got a snowblower in front of us. It's the middle of summer, 90 degrees where we're not thinking snow, but this is more proof in the pudding, like the show me state of Missouri, don't tell me, show me. So this is what this video is gonna be all about today is to show you things that you might uncover in the snow, right? Could be a dog toy, could be a two by four, could be, you know, a block, could be a piece of wood, anything that you might come across. I would rather show you so you have an example of, hey, what what actually happens when you run into a two by four, you run into a brick. We got a pressure relief valve on here. That's that's basically a good insurance policy to protect your equipment. And, and we're gonna show you in the actual video. It's all about show and then prove it, right? So I'm not gonna tell you, we're gonna prove it with video so you can see everything going on here. This is a, this is a bladed auger system here, which basically what happens when you throw ice cubes in a blender. I mean, it's, it's mulched right away, right? And there's serrated teeth on every one of these blades, which help bust up and pulverize that material immediately. And when you're in tough snow conditions, which right now clearly it's summer, but we know what's around the corner. And when we get into hard packed snow, piled up snow where it sits there and it's warm one day, it melts, it's like a giant ice cube. This baby will absolutely pulverize that and you'll make quick work of it. There's not another blower on the market like it, period. So we just got done eating a pallet here and the beautiful thing is you can literally see in the video when that auger stops spinning that's where the pressure relief valve is kicking in and you'll see in the video that the fan keeps spinning because there was nothing engaged clogging that you know else the fan would go over relief as well if there was anything stuck in there but that's a good insurance policy that's why you invest in good equipment so that when worst case scenario happens, you don't ever have to worry about it. When it's 25 below zero and you're replacing a shear pin on a, you know, an old school snowblower or whatever, and you're freezing, you're still inside the cab where it's warm. All right, we got scenario number two. We got a brick down here. Not that anybody purposely is gonna go drive into a brick, but I'd rather show you what happens. You know, if you do hit rocks, here's what you can expect when you're actually out in the field blowing snow. Alright, so we're done with scenario two here with the block. And when you first seen it where it stalled, that was the pressure relief valve kicking in, right? Protects the equipment. Then he went at it again and it actually broke up the block and you seen a whole bunch of stuff flying through the chute, right? So that way, when you run into that scenario, you know exactly what to expect. But as far as this bladed system here, these things are seven inches long. They're supported 60%. They're the thickest blades on the market, period. All right, we got scenario number three here. We figured the, the smaller brick wasn't big enough, so we grabbed one much larger and I'm kind of a little Norwegian and I, I'll tell you what, this baby's got some weight to it. Roughly it's 15 by 15, four inches thick. We're gonna do the old karate kid on this baby. We'll see what happens. Hoo-ya! go back to the state of Missouri because they, they were on to something here with 
the show me state. You can take a look at the bladed system here and you can see just one after another after another. The only thing that a little bit of paint off here, but just imagine what that does on ice and snow and hard packed compact drifts compared to the others. They just don't stand a chance. All right, Johnny Knoxville, scenario number four here. See for yourself. We're going bowling, baby. I feel like a five-year-old kid right now. So are you when your blower delivers. But we threw literally the kitchen sink at it. You've seen the results, period. 